with US 99 Chicago's hottest country. I might be sabotaging my engagement. Love and marriage, love and marriage. <laughs> now, uh, Stacy, I do need a woman's advice, so can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Are you married by any chance? I am. Okay, so I, I'm engaged. My fiance um, and I are having a lot of these conversations, and uh, in case my family is listening, no, we are not as far along in the planning process as you might think, so don't worry if you didn't get an invitation. But we're talking about the invitations, and I kind of jokingly threw out the idea of, hey, can we just do like an evite, like an email or a Facebook invite instead of wasting all that money on uh, on invitations? And she just looked at me and laughed and left the room. So yes, I think that I think that not. meant no, right? That's a, that's a no. Okay. Why why can't you do an evite for the wedding? That's like wedding. giving a phone call saying, hey, I'm getting married on Saturday, November 20th. Can you pencil me in? Yeah. That, no. that That's not like, okay, right? That's what you're saying? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm misinterpreting this. I, here's the thing. Like, I have moved every year for the past five years. If someone's trying to send me a wedding invite, chances are not getting to my house. Okay. If it comes back, then you can send them a Facebook and say, hey, I tried to send this to you. Didn't get it. Update address. This is the date. Save it. All right. So is Facebook message different than uh, like an evite, the website? In this case, yes. So no evites. A yeah. Facebook message only if the... Yeah. Only if invite gets sent back. Get it to them, correct. But what if we're trying to save the environment? Like what? All the paper, all that money, you could spend it on alcohol instead of invites. Uh, it's just points I'm bringing up. Oh my god, no! Are you sure, Stacy? Thank you so much. Have a great day. There's got to be someone that agrees with me, or maybe you want to tell me I'm being ridiculous. Is it okay to just do an evite for our wedding instead of spending all that money on invitations? 312-946-4995. All right, uh, Lauren. Yeah. Lauren, good morning. Hey, do you think uh, I can go ahead and send an evite for my wedding? Absolutely. Oh, I can. Absolutely. Good. Oh, I, I thought you were going to cut me off and be like, you're crazy. No, not only are you saving money, yeah. saving the environment, like yep. you said, it's faster it's easier it's easier to keep track of the rsvps on your end see I'm, i live thinking. in the digital world that's what i'm talking about i lo- I, lo- I don't see why absolutely. we can't absolutely how many times do you leave for the wedding and you can't remember the address you can't remember what time it started well if it's already in your phone it's with you that i say it all the time if it's not in my calendar it's not happening so yes that's exactly okay i've go- been married for five years and if i could looking back on the things that i could cut back on trim back on that really didn't make that much of an impact on my wedding absolutely pinpointed you, man buddy. you are perfect lord thank you so much you have a great day at work today okay absolutely you too now i think ashley disagrees with lauren right ashley can i use the evites for my invitations for my wedding cannot cannot do that okay why not um i for me i would think that people would miss it i get so much junk mail i would miss it oh you think oh okay so it might go to like the junk mail in the email you mean yes people would just miss it between all the emails that they get all day long from stores and everything like that (laughs) Mmm, that's a good point. Uh, I don't, I don't hate, I wonder if like, can you flag it urgent or that just look like spam probably? I would think that it might go to spam, but I do have a suggestion on how you could save money. Love it. So when I had my wedding, I DIY'd my invitation. So I have five sisters and I had them all come to my house with bottles of wine, collected materials like stamps and things like that from Michael's. And we just sat and drank wine and made our invitation. Okay. I, I love that idea. I will say this. The last time I tried to do something I saw on Pinterest, I lit my kitchen on fire. So I'm not... Totally that guy, but I will hire you and your five sisters. <laughs> there you go. It's a new business. Yeah, we could make it happen for you. Yeah. Oh, you're perfect. I, Ashley, thank you so much for calling. Yeah, thank you. I love the show. I listen to you every morning. Oh, thank you. Have a great day. All right, you too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cassandra. Yes. All right, you're in Des Plaines. Hey, my dad lives in Des Plaines. you know my dad? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, okay. Uh, well, if John's listening, he's uh, he's out there in Des Plaines too. Hey, do you think... <laughs> he actually texted me and said, uh, I'll take I'll take the text message or the evite uh, if you're... <laughs> trying to decide do you think i could give uh, an evite instead of a uh, an invitation it's the conversation i had with my fiance last night i do only because that's what we did for our wedding you did um, do that we did only because we had a small amount of people like ours was about 50 people okay yeah so okay so you sent out what'd you do an evite a facebook message you like a not a facebook message um we did the evite so you can find websites that right. i'm pretty sure it's called evites yeah yeah, yeah it is um, you decorate them you can make them pretty and elegant just like the paper ones Oh, look at that. So you don't have to sacrifice your uh, quality either. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so and it worked out. And so if it's under if it's under a certain amount of people, like we're probably going to have like 150 people, I would say. Is that too many emails? I mean, 
It's going to take a lot of work um, putting each person's number in one at a time or email address. I would. All right, perfect. Thank you.